I thought that was going to be it then. I thought it was actually in the bit that he said. <laughs> anyway, we're back with some more FIFA 18 crew. That was a dodgy entrance, wasn't it? I was trying to show you the bit that Perry Pedro Turbo was on, but there it is, there it is, look, there it is. There is the proof in the pudding. I think everyone who plays career mode knows. But That's what Peter Tony was trying to say last episode. A player press conference for the signing, that's all. Right, so next up today we do have our second match from our pre-season European tournament. It's against Cittadella. From Italia. So basically they won their first match as well, so this is a big one. The winner of this one's guaranteed to go through to the next round. Absolutely. So let's go. Let's crack on. We've not changed the team or the formation. It's all the same as it was last time. Uh, hopefully this time there'll be more goals though. Yeah. Hang so on. that's a nice playing kit for Citadella. I so, thought that, that, I was convinced I was on the left there for some. That looks like Latte Laugh. That's exactly the same, <laughs> same, the same hair and everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's go. I quite like that kit actually. Yeah, good for uh, ultimate team. Nice and plain. Yeah. No, no uh, advertisements, no sponsors. You're trying to actually get rid of my pink kit? Yeah. Don't. Oh, oh, it's. The only on team who should wear a pink kit is Palermo. Because they've always had a pink kit. Lovely. I would love to get my own half at some point, that'd be nice. It's not looking good there, it's 1 0. Citadella. I knew I should have got a legendary difficulty. <laughs> legendary <laughs> difficulty. <laughs> Just a lapse in defending there by Coventry. It's because we've only got one good defender. Who's lower rate than the other two defenders, but... <laughs> yeah. That's completely my fault, I must admit. I uh, tried to go for a couple of standing tackles and missed them and uh, ended up out of position really and they broke through, but... It's not a problem. Loads I mean, of time left in the game. Means I've got to score double the amount of goals I scored in the last game now, but... Oh, Hurst is down injured. Oh, he's injury prone, isn't he? I remember now. <sighs> I did save it beforehand. If it's anything to do with cruciate ligaments and oh, metatarsals. It's bad he has not got up. He's not got up. We might have to sell him. <laughs> God. Here Bring comes. on Beaven. Here comes Beaven and Buttered. Fucking. George asked. You must have really high injury. injury he, he got injured a lot for be. me in my career mode. He was out for two separate occasions. What was that pass? Oh, I'm really strong. It's. I thought Partick Fist was going to be the difficult one. Oh, my and God. There it is. It's two. Is he offside? I'm being destroyed. He's offside. He's offside. Ah. He's offside. You're not singing, you're not singing. <laughs> you're playing a team called Citadella. <laughs> I've never even heard of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming, mate, they must be in the Champions League the way they're playing. <laughs> oh, I don't deserve a, a goal, in, to be honest, but if we do get a cheeky equaliser, I'll be more than happy. Go. There we are! Ah! One nil lost. That's not good. You win some, you lose some. It's an exhibition. Oh. Well, I've won one and I've lost one, so that's disappointment. The thing is, we didn't even deserve. Look at that, look at that stats. We're lucky to lose one nil. That looks yeah. good. Although we did have some really good chances at the same time. That's the frustrating thing. I think it's one of them. Citadella will now win the group. Uh, Partick yeah. Thistle won their game. So okay. it basically means that a win against Ascoli or even a draw is good enough, depending on the Partick Thistle result. Yeah. And they play Citadella. Right, we've got more scout reports. We don't need any of those, do we? Oh, fudge in muck, fudge nuggets. Seven months I told you about the cruise, I told you about the cruise shit ligament. Oh, no, wow. <laughs> wow. That hurts. Not so hurts. the worrying thing about this, right, is you've done two career modes so far. Yeah. And he's been injured in both of those. Yeah. We've done a career mode here, and again, George has been injured the same way. Does he have a very high injury probability? But he doesn't because it will show that on his profile if he's injury prone, which he's not. He's just got bad bloody luck. Hmm. 
Very bad luck. I think I've got bad luck as well. Right, let's um, let's stop messing around. Let's do a bit of training. So that you will clearly see that Hurst has the uprising. So does Ponticelli. Yeah. I didn't realise. Jones, Jones, we're at Latty Laugh. Do we want to go for Tosin? We want to. I don't know if you can actually build up. Um. Oh, you can build up st uh, stamina. That would build him up three levels if he did that. Yeah. But he'd have to get an A on it, so... Uh, yeah. Let's go for a medium dribbling for him. Do I concentrate a lot on him? Or I do I spread it around? I was going to say, I wish to comment, I do not do training. I work off the players provided in-game. But uh, this is Mr. Shabby Gamer's forte. It so definitely it increase, it increases, it increases the speed of the uh, of the upgrades. Latilaf is pretty close to a level up anyway, so we might as well give him... Give him a dribbling scenario, build him up a little bit. It'd be nice to get him up to that 64 rated mark. Who else is an important player for us? Uh, the uh, keeper. Keeper, Roffo, yeah, get him up a little bit. Let's give him some defending crosses and then maybe another one for the keeper as well because he's a very important part of the team. And you can double up, you just can't do the same training session twice. So we can give him a, let's do Russian, let's give him a hard one. There's a good chance he's going to fail it, but who cares. Right, let's simulate those training sessions, see how we get on. Well, uh, Rafa and Lati Love done very well. Yeah, they did pretty well. Got their stats up a little bit. We've got an F there for Tosin, which is not a major... Well, it's not great, don't get me it's wrong. It's not but great, but the more times that we do the training sessions, yeah. the better they will improve. Yeah, basically, yeah. It's crazy that the two that did gold, the harder ones, actually didn't do too badly. Yeah. There we go. Then you can only do that once per week, of course, but it does really help speed up the, uh, the improvement process. Now, let's continue on advancing on, because we need to finish the tournament so we can buy some more players. So, a win here is pivotal. And where's my youth player? He will be coming right now. We do now. have an office here email. It is. I believe this is the man. No, it's Tosin saying he's not up to it. <laughs> Bloody Tosin. I'm not feeling... Wow. Two games in, he wants a rest. He has got a stamina of 37. So have I. <laughs> We've got to take Hurst out as well. It's Hurst and Tosin. So, by bringing in Beaven... And butthead. Uh, so bring him out. Let's bring another strike onto the bench, maybe. Or, hmm, it's pretty mad, is it? Got Thomas on the bench anyway. And then we can bring in maybe Doyle. Yeah. In place of Tosin. Okay, he is really struggling with that. Yeah. Really struggling. But I'm sure that's something we can really build up, um, going through time of training and so forth. Anyway. So now we go into a match that I have to win then. Must like, win. Medically have to win. Again, we're actually not in the top two at the moment. So a draw might not even be good enough. I'm going to have to win. I'm going to have to put some goals away here. Yeah. And hope that Citadella do us a favour. And beat Partick Fessel. Right. We are playing the team that's lost both games so far, though. So, again. So, no, um, no, no pressure. Yeah, lots of pressure. Thanks. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Especially with George Hurst being out for seven months. Yeah. So we have to sign a man. Yeah. It's about the first couple of minutes now, though. We're pressuring them. Seems like only a matter of time before they go... Oh, it's a terrible pass. It's only a matter of time before that first goal comes. Yes, yeah, it's in the back no. of the net. Well, it's Latty Love. It's Who is not. It? It's Kyle Reid. Oh, it's one of the, uh, one of the originals. Kyle Reid. Playing left midfield for this game. Kyle Reid. No, oh, God. Had to really play that basic. Let's bring it up, yeah. Had to really play that basic there. Just, I just, having no luck, I just literally had to get as close as I could to the goal and just whack it as hard as I possibly could. That's exactly what we did. 1-0 yeah. up. This could be enough to take us through to the semi-final of this competition. Which we so desperately need the money from. Oh, yes. Now let's keep a clean sheet. Oh. Free ball. They've given it to us straight away. Stuart Beaver! Oh. <laughs> you cheeky git. Call as you like. Oh. Call as a cucumber. So we need these goals. We've literally just scored straight from the set. We need the goals because we don't know what's happening in the other game. We might need the goal difference to save us. And that's, that's good. As lucky as that was, I suppose. But they gave the ball straight to us and he made the run straight through. 
That's the run that, that George Hurst would have made. Oh. Lucky on the spin. Very lucky. So 2 0 up. We have got a good chance of winning this game now, but more goals are the prerogative just in case. Partick Fist have got the lead. Lati Laugh for the third. Oh, oh, he's put it wide. It's a beautiful play, though. Yeah. Seems to have opened up now. Yeah. I think one thing I've learned about this game as time's gone on is that the early goal is so important. It's momentum. Yeah, if you get the early goal. As soon as you get the momentum, then you've got the advantage. Yeah, plus I don't know if it works the same way as it works in squad battles, but in squad battles, when you're in the lead, when it hits about 75 minutes, the AI decides it wants to go all out to get the equaliser. Yeah. And they end up getting caught out on the break quite easily. Yeah. Same for career mode. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's game over. There we go, 90 and minutes. It is that surely qualification. You'd hope so. You'd think so. Let's see, what happened in the other game? We deserve this one. And it was a 2-1 win for Partick Thistle. We're out. Are we out? We've got six points. Yes. So it depends on the Citadella situation. It's all down to goal difference. Three teams on six points. And we're through. How the hell did we get through that? Vaselli or Vicelli in the semi-finals. We pulled off a hell of a one there then, haven't and we? I believe we have more money through qualifying for right, the semis. 622k, we have. Been given a, a nice chunk of money there then. And we've got a transfer offer for Jody Jones. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we've got 325k. They're offering, oh wow, what are they offering, 780. So, how do you feel about if we went for the maximum, that 1.55 million? Yeah. Because that 1.55 million would give us enough to buy a few more players. I had the very same predicament I with know, my career mode. I know he's a good player, he's probably been one of our best players so far. He's 65 rated now and he's got a potential of 79, but selling this one player could afford us a few more. Of yeah. 80 plus potential. I would say to delegate, well, negotiate and see if Millwall are willing to pay 1.5 million for Jody Jones. That's our request. If they don't want to take it, then it's their own. It's their own, isn't it? Yeah. It's not worth us. It's not worth it for us unless we get the right amount. And after the board take their chunk, we would be left with approximately a million. Yeah. Which would be enough to buy us the four player, four or five players oh, that are left yeah. on our list. So it's not the situation we want to be in, but we have got Joswiak, who's a really good right midfielder anyway. Yeah. So they just want to increase with a sell on cause. That's not good enough. No. Um, we'll just wait for the next offer because they're not going to improve. No. I believe at the very maximum we can get around 1.1, 1.2. So. Yeah. Millwall were trying to shave money off and that ain't working. No, it's only worth going for it unless if we're going to get what we want out of it, isn't it, really? Yeah. So I would say please get the Ockles deal done with the money we've been given. <laughs> so the Ockles deal. Right. So does it say about previous negotiations or do we have to start from scratch? Start from scratch. Okay. Let's take a seat. Oh, Bevan shirt's up there now. Yeah, it won't be for much longer. <laughs> <coughs> so 2,200, we know that now. Yeah, because we've scouted the player, we now know he's worth 220,000. Don't remember what they wanted, do you? Um, what, I can't remember who we'd done for the swap deal. Was it the fullback? I think he might be the left back, you know. Give him a... Chris Stokes is exactly 2,200. Yeah, let's see if they go straight for the straight swap. This is me guessing. I think it might be the left back. Yeah. Left winger. Left winger. I was close. And that would be Kelly... Kelly Brook. Yes. It's not Kelly Brook, is if it? If only. <laughs> um, offer other players. I would say go Carl Finn. Get Carl Finn away. He's done then. Yeah. We're gonna want, they're going to want some more money on top of that, yeah. obviously, aren't they? But that's doable. We've got 620 But now when he's worth 220k, we know exactly how much he's worth. Yeah. 
124, so we should go for 100. Yeah, go back to the original deal of 100,000 pounds and then offer him more than a thousand pounds a week. Yeah, I'm not listening to you again. Yeah, trying to shave money off isn't the best when you're um, trying to work on wages, but 100,000 pounds plus Kyle Finn. This should get accepted. Yes. Which isn't bad at all, actually. It means we're paying about forty. We're paying twenty k over the over the yeah. value, which is not bad at all. Yeah. For a player going to be. Done. Yeah. For a player who's going to be at the level he's going to be at, it's very good. So let's get the negotiation process done. We are straight into that now. Yeah. Well, there we can. It's a lot quicker this year. Oh yes. A lot quicker. He used to take two or three simulation days to get deals done like this. Um, but this is what's made FIFA a lot better this year. So, rotation so much player. quicker. Except, I believe we, we need him really because we're going to put. Oh, we don't need him because we haven't sold Jody Jones. Have we? Oh, we, we need him. We do need him. Yeah. We need him. <laughs> when you play with this kid, you'll know he's the dog's bollocks. He's brilliant. I'm taking three years. I could have probably pushed him for four, but well, we we offered him a grand to join us, and he's already on eleven hundred in Denmark. So I can only imagine why he refused us. I don't blame him. But if we offer him two grand, he can't refuse. That's more than he's on now. Let's get the deal done. He seems happy. Yeah. He shouldn't turn it down. And there we go. Sweet. Jeff Ockels, the Danish player has signed for Coventry City. I feel a debut coming on. So do I. Should we do anything else or should we wait until the rest of the money's come in? I just want to see how much money's left. That should leave us with... What will that leave us with? 522k. Is that enough to buy anybody? We can get a player for that. Or is it worth waiting until we've um, I would say the get, rest the of the two money. Games, get the two games out of the way. Yeah. Uh, have a look at your squad rotation, see who's going to be at least oh, wow. fit for the semis. We can skip forward a few days actually first before it I is. start doing that. And these are, these are must win games, so... Yes, I'm terrified. Taking ages to see him, right. Off the and this, Stevenson is, now and as this well. is what happens. Your two best players will get tapped up. They will get offers left, right and centre. So how do we feel about this? 1.5 million. 1.3 is the... Uh, well, one point, give it 1.3. I don't think Doncaster... Because they're offering 1.1. 1. 1. Do you reckon we can swap Congolo? He plays for Doncaster, doesn't he? I don't know if we can swap for one of them. Um, so I would say 1.3 million. Yeah, we can't swap. If the club is saying that we can take it to 1.3, then fine. I believe if we're offering 1.1, I can't see why the difference of 200,000 will matter. Um, it's enough for us to get I, a man. I believe, I believe this deal will go through. Yeah. And the deal's done. 1.3 million. Ben Stevenson has left the club. It's not a player we necessarily wanted to get rid of, but for 1.3 million, with the players we're bringing in for the value we're bringing in. Yeah, we can get two players out of him. Yeah, even if we have to hold on until January to get a couple of these other better players. Yeah. That's, that's not bad. So it's a shame for Ben Stevenson. Good prospect. Um, just hasn't got the potential of everyone else. So the deal won't go through yet until after this game. We'll leave him for his last game. Should we put Ockles in for this one? Yes, absolutely. Bring off Kyle Reid and bring on Ockles. Um, Don't be deceived the by the stat. That was a um, lot of strikers at the bench, didn't we? Yeah. And bring Tossin back in as well. Ah, oh, you want to bring him up the drink? Is he better there or is he better in the Ockles wing? Ockles left with... midfielder, trust me. He will glide. He's best there and not back here. Oh, actually, tell a lie. Put Joss React as the left forward and bring Ockles down as left midfielder. Yeah. Take out Doyle, bring in Tossin. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Okay, we'll play this last game then this episode. And then uh, next time we should be able to do the final and then spend the rest of the money. We'll be looking good. We'll have a lot of money to spend next time then. Oh, a hell of a lot of money. Which so is good we'll... because I do want to hire at least one good youth scout to start our youth academy up as well. Oh, absolutely. So, let's go for this game then against Vaselli, which I have to win. Have to win. Have to win. No choices here. No excuses. So there's Joss Riak. I'll let Ockles run. Go on, go on, go on, go on. 
Yes, no. get in. It's Latte the Laugh. Latte the Coffee Laugh. Oh, we're having a laugh here, aren't we? <laughs> He's doing well, actually. He's scoring more goals than the striker is. That's what happens when you turn him into a 99. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, this is a new glitch in the game. If you change the shirt number, that's what their new rating becomes. <laughs> there we go, the Latte Laugh gets the early goal. And because we've got the early goal, we should be able to cruise this one now to a place in the final. Yes. Which, if we get the place in the final and we sell Stevenson, we'll have another good two and a half million to spend on players and build ourselves a pretty cool squad then. Definitely. Not just a starting lineup. Oh, wow. Equaliser for Ficelli. My defence were nowhere to be found there. This guy was literally on his own. Look at this, look. Literally, he just ran through on his own. Nobody marked him. Presta. Lost his man there. Lost him good and proper. He was in a different bloody country by the time he came along. Yeah. So we have to score again. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, referee. Is it penalties? I hope bloody hope it's not penalties. Please tell me it's extra time. It's penalties. Oh, my God, it's penalties. How you feeling? Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Penalties, right. Just just mimic, right, press the buttons and it makes your keeper do funny moves. That'll do. Right, you don't you know the whole putting off a player? My tactic is always bottom right. Okay. No matter what, I shoot and I say bottom right. Okay. I hate the arrow. It makes me think that they can see it. But it's hard to take one. They can they it. cheat, they can see it. Yeah. Good press. Good save, Ruffo. Come on, Kov. No, last minute change of direction. Yes! Oh, that last laugh. minute change of direction. The only man who can seem to ever score. Go on, Latty Laugh. I don't think he's going to go bottom right again. Ruffo's done <laughs> it again. <laughs> what a signing. Go on, Ben. Before you leave. Before you're gone, and there it is. Coventry have won the penalty shootout. Oh, we have. I thought we had one more. No, we've got one more yet. We've pretty much won. Yeah, we've Save got this score one, one. We've got to score one of our next three. Come on, Ruffo. He's done it oh, again! He's, he's saved he's all four! He's done it again! <laughs> he's saved all four! Thank you to the scout. I'll take it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've never been in so much pressure in my life. But what a goalkeeper. Four saves and four penalties. That was immense. And that last one. Man, you're a raw fire. Who needs everything here? Right. There you go. £500,000. I think you should buy me for your Man United, in fairness. Man, you're a raw foe. I've, I can't tell you enough. The about, diamond in the raw foe. The, the, the Argentinian <laughs> Valdez, he is, he is really good. Just get him for half a million. Yeah, I'm feeling... Half a million. I'm feeling good about Latelaf. Ockel's got Man of the Match, I think, in his debut. Yeah. That's the wrong button. Uh, there we go. Do you get man the match? Yep. It's man the match's debut. Jeppe Ockles. Uh, Latty Laugh with a goal. I think Roffle deserves man the match, really, saving all four penalties. Yeah. I know I picked the decision which way to go, but in fairness, a couple of times, he didn't go the direction I pressed, so... Oh, take it. I'm, I'm letting, I'm letting uh, Roffle yeah. have that one. 2-2. Two, two. I tell you what, if Citadella's won that, even though they beat us last time, I'd rather have them than Brescia. Citadella have won. They've won. They're okay. beating Brescia. They beat them on penalties, did they? Four Looks two. like it, yeah. So, we're playing up against the team. The only team so far to beat us in the career mode is in the final. Yeah. But, of course, that will be next episode. With all the new money to spend, if we sell Stevenson, well, we've, got, we've got a lot of news to well, do. Well, I might put well. for the youth transfer to come through as well for the next episode. So Yeah, if we sell Stevenson and we get uh, winning that competition, uh, then I think we'll be looking pretty good. Now, the best thing about this as well is, see, well, let's say that this before, let's press triangle. And yeah. it gives you all the same as what you did last week. Yeah. See you later on. It just speeds the whole thing up then. But yeah, we go. Yeah, we'll finish the episode off there. Of course, if you haven't enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe as Ruffo goes up to a 59. Sweet as a nut. Um, we'll be back in a few days' time to finish off this preseason tournament, get some more money in, buy some more players, and basically build the team of dreams here for Coventry. And uh, hopefully make our way up to League One pretty easily and begin our ascent back to the glory days of Coventry City. Uh, I've been Shabby Gamer, of course, this has been... I've been PJ Tovey. And we'll see you again in a few days' time for our next episode of the FIFA 18 Career Mode.
Bye. Bye.